Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ear to the Ground YouTube channel. My name is Greg Jones. I'm co-editor of Ear to the Ground Music and I wanted to give you a little bit of a, I guess a tour of some of the stuff that we've been working on on our Spotify. Uh, if you have been releasing music in the last couple years. You know how valuable Spotify is for not just getting music out there to be available to people, but also for curating it into playlists. I recently uh, ran a video about that process and in, in increasing your Spotify plays by using playlists. And I wanted to show kind of a tour of some of the ones that we have. We've also, uh, we did a video about this on our SoundCloud where we do something similar. Uh, so, you know, this is a bit chaotic here. I'm sure, uh, on, especially if you're watching on a phone, you probably can't even see this. So let me just go through a few of the recent uh, playlists that we've done. This one is 2021 Indie Rock. Uh, we've got only 11 songs on it for now, but this is one of the main genres that we cover. Right now it's only, you know, like I said, 11 songs, but we are always adding to these types of things throughout the year as we cover more artists. We'll come in and, and add them here. We may take a few off. Uh, that's, you know, no offense to the people who wrote that music, but it's just good to keep the playlist fresh for anybody new who runs across it. But I also really like... Um, uh, let me see if I can move my face for you. I I borrowed that picture from a friend um, to use as our as our cover, um, but uh, this is a neoclassical, and you know I gave it a you know a, a snazzy title here, but it's about tranquility. It's about peace. So tranquilo. And this neoclassical list has a bunch of, so I guess it's 22 right now, and that will grow considerably by the end of the year. And these are calm, peaceful, relaxing, right? All those, all those good, uh, good adjectives. But it's really a playlist that's intended to help people work, uh, read, write, meditate, those kinds of things, and. There aren't a lot of people curating neoclassical music, so I'm happy to be doing this. And it's something that we get quite a few submissions on Submit Hub in this subgenre. So uh, that makes up this playlist. We've got another one here. It's very uh, kind of a generic name with singer songwriters. Uh, 57 songs on this one, over three hours worth of music, nearly four hours worth of music. Um, if if you, you know, singer-songwriter is one of the hardest things to curate because it can mean a lot of things. A, anybody who sings and wrote their song is technically a singer-songwriter. So what do we mean by this? It could be um, probably if it's more folk, it'll go on a folk playlist. And if it's mm, indie pop, it'll go on that list. So this is a singer-songwriter who doesn't perfectly fit into one of those other categories is going to end up on here. There's a wide variety here. And sometimes I'll put a song on multiple playlists, but that's pretty rare. It would have to be a very good track or a perfect fit for multiple lists. But I'm just showing you, you know, kind of the differences that we have. Uh, if you watched our last video, you've already heard about this coffee shop playlist, but it's got a little... Uh, bit of cover art there as well uh, but the coffee shop playlist it you know it's intended to be relaxing acoustic mostly some of it's kind of vibey kind of uh, upbeat make you feel good that you're out and about in the world doing things again uh, last year 2020 we had an empty coffee shops playlist because we were under quarantine here in uh, the United States and this year, as things continue to open up, we can you know go back to the coffee shop. So we're excited for that. And there's a wide range of artists that we've covered here: Francis Luke Accord, Catherine Pretty, O.C. Elliott, Beta Radio, Brother James. Like these are all legitimately artists we've covered several times in the past. Joshua Radin has been around for a long time. Ben Greenberg. This is a you know a, a really good song. 
uh, yeah, I mean, I could go on. <laughs> I could write a paragraph as to why I, I put each of these songs here. Uh, and this is one thing I would recommend if you are getting into our playlists is go look up what we said about the music. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly if you've already discovered the track. What do you care about? Some, you know, some bloggers thoughts on it, but anybody in this playlist has already been covered on our site. So you might get some extra information on them. You could probably click through whatever link I put there for their, you know, sometimes I will get into their bio. Sometimes I'll include a link to their social media, stuff like that. So, or you could, of course, just click through Spotify to get to it. But it would be cool if you looked at looked them up on our site as well. Uh, we also have Americana here, just uh, just under three hours worth of Americana music and some fantastic new artists there. Uh, Olivia Ellen Lloyd is one of my favorites that I found in 2021. Uh, she appears on several of these different playlists already. Um, we also have an indie folk. You know, I said this is we're getting back to our heart right this is our heart of of the music that we cover is rooted in in folk music some of this is you know hand clappy good times like uh lumineers and some of it is a little more calm and relaxed but it i mean it's all there because it's i think it's all good uh, the last one i want to feature here in this quick video is uh indie pop 2021 and I roll a good bit of different subgenres of indie into this. There's some indie electro influences, and down tempo, uh, some groovy kind of stuff. Things that just don't fit. And uh, there, a lot of them I would say are folk songs, just with different instrumentation. I mean, really, at the end of the day, they're narrative driven. They're emotionally driven. Uh, not a lot of just straight dance music more so uh, there's there's a message in pretty much all of these and if you chill out like, but what i like about indie pop and and why i think it's a, a genre that stands on its own is the atmospheric elements i love when you know you've got your headphones on and the sound just like it, it almost feels like it's going around your head or right? it's like you're in the middle of the concert a lot of this stuff is either that or you feel like you're in the bedroom chilling with the person making the music and you're just like, wow, yeah, this is good, right? Any of those, you know, any anywhere in between. And I try to not, not make it like, you know, three bangers in a row and then three slow songs in a row. We try to mix it up so that you can put this on for working out. You can put this on for reading. You can put this on for uh, going for a walk, you know, whatever, a, a, a wide a wide range of things. Um, these are the playlists. Now you can go back through all the years. <laughs> We've got a lot. A lot of these are our public playlists uh, over the years. Some you can look at my albums of the year going back probably five years now. Um, but the main reason that I wanted to feature this was just to say, first of all, that it exists. <laughs> uh, our numbers are not great. They're not high on these playlists, and I would love to have more of a following but also uh, I want people to know that this is something that that I feel passionately about getting cre curating good playlists and having people follow them and continuing to find new music and create an avenue for other people to discover it uh, I don't want the robots to take over guys that's it i don't want the robots i don't want the algorithm to determine the people and the music that you discover in your life i don't want it to just be the major rec record labels getting music to you i want you to be able to find people a get a good example of who i'm talking about in my mind is somebody like mac airs if you know neo soul you know new chill soul music at all you know mac airs and you know when we first found his song easy it was so good i knew it was a hit and it became a hit and the the young man produced it in a dorm room in new york city 
Uh, and those are the kinds of stories. He did not have a budget. He did not have big, expensive, fancy equipment. He bedroom produced it, and it's got soul. It's got heart. And uh, I don't care if you are in a swamp in southern Louisiana or in a skyscraper in New York. If you write good music, I want it to be able to get out there. And I want other people to be able to connect to the heart and the soul of what you're doing. And uh, that's that's why I started the site. That's why I sift through a lot that you'll never hear <laughs> to get to the ones that I believe in. And if they are on these playlists, I believe in the music. And I hope that you will go through these lists and enjoy them. Offer some feedback if, if, if you have any. Drop some comments on this video. Let me know what else you'd like me to talk about on this channel. Everything from our operations at Ear to the Ground to what I look for in music and what I like to write about and cover. Anything you want to ask, go for it and I'll see if I can put together a video for you. But that, that's, that about does it for us today. I'll take you back to our homepage and uh, say thanks again. Bye for now.